In the last three years, Christian Chisholm has been booked into jail 22 times. In October, he was arrested three times in the same week. It's out in my girls' room. They won't even go in there now. You know, they won't play in there. They don't want no part to do it. Now they're terrified and want to sleep in our room. That family in Fairview says they found Chisholm sitting on the bed in their six-year-old daughter's room. He was arrested, but wasn't booked into jail. The next day, he was arrested again, this time for criminal trespass at a home in northwest Portland. Now, a month later, he's yet to show up for court in both cases. In a 2017 case, he failed to appear in court 17 times. We're not being protected as citizens. You know, it's, you know, I don't feel like we're protected. I don't feel like anybody's doing their job. You know, it's like, what are we supposed to do? You know, it, and that's not right. It's not fair. Chisholm was charged with criminal trespass, which is a low level misdemeanor. At the most, he could get 30 days in jail. And when you look at his criminal history, a lot of his crimes fall into that low level category. If someone does continue to commit low level misdemeanors, can they just continue to do that forever? It's possible in the sense that, you know, in Oregon, uh, our low level misdemeanors at most may carry one year in jail. Multnomah County Senior Deputy District Attorney Nathan Vasquez supervises the Neighborhood and Strategic Prosecution Unit. His office works to find solutions for cases like Chisholm's, but says there simply aren't enough resources to monitor repeat offenders like him. Right now, the Department of Community Justice is simply not allocated the resources to intensely supervise all of the misdemeanor people out there, even the ones that kind of can be very high volume offenders. And you'd think at a certain point, even those low level crimes would start to add up. But in Oregon, they don't. If someone racks up three assaults, then they become a felon. And that, that's how we can get to a felony that way. But for a lot of the low level misdemeanors, that just doesn't exist. Um, someone can be convicted of criminal trespass in, in the second degree, over and over and over. Portland does have several programs to help people, but each has its own set of eligibility requirements, which means someone with low level charges may never qualify for them, even if they hit hundreds of arrests. Vasquez says his office is working to come up with solutions, but it would take a drastic change in law, policy and resources to fix that. Back to you.